Oh, okay. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now I'm currently here in Barcelona for the Honor Magic 5. Now I'm currently here in Barcelona for the Honor Magic 6 Pro launch event. And I've actually been using this device for, I think, four days now to be exact. So in today's video, let me share with you a little bit more on what you can expect with Honor's latest flagship. Now please bear with me, I'm actually on the rooftop of the hotel itself. There's a lot of wind blowing around. That's the traffic as well. So I hope you don't, you know, mind all the sound and all the noises that's coming around. Let's talk about the phone. Now, first and foremost, what can you really expect from Honor's latest flagship? Now, what I want to say here is that the design itself, let's take a look at the design. It's actually in this really nice matte black colorway. I really like the colorway this time around because on their previous black version, it has always been the glossy kind of panel. So it's great to see this very smooth kind of matte black material on the back here. Now, the main style of the show is actually in terms of the cameras. This is really what's new with the Magic 6 Pro. And we, let's start off with that telephoto lens. So telephoto lens right now, now is a 180 megapixel unit so it's very high in resolution but in terms of the optical zoom it's only like 2.5 times and it's able to go up to 100 times digital zoom so i would say that the sweet spot is definitely between 2.5 to 5 times zoom and that's where you can actually get a lot of detail retained through that telephoto lens i'm going to show you guys some samples that you can see on the screens but this is what you can expect now other than that in terms of the main sensor we do have that 50 megapixel sensor but what's different now is the fact that you know the aperture itself can be changed there's only two stages here i notice it's a 1.4 or a 2.0 and you will mostly see the difference if you are taking pictures of subjects that are really close to the camera so a 1.4 kind of aperture to all the sort of like photographer beginners out there it basically means that you will have a more natural bokeh it's going to be a bit more blurrer whereas 2.0 shows you a little bit more of the background itself so that's what you can play around with you know with that variable aperture i wish we had a wider range but 1.4 and 2.0 is what you get over here now last but not least we also have that you know ultra wide sensor which is still the same as magic 5 pro so i won't talk too much about that anyways in terms of the photos coming off the cameras i think there's still a bit of room for software updates Dates because this is still a, a very early release so anything that you see here is sort of a reference but will not be the final unit so in terms of the selfie camera at the front there's also been a slight change and it's actually been upgraded to a 15 megapixel unit so you can actually capture a bit more detail of selfies okay so those are just in terms of the cameras and all that but what else is new here in terms of the display at the front we still have that curved uh, AMOLED display that's actually still very very bright in fact I was testing it out earlier in the morning even with a super harsh sun I was still able to see the display very clearly so still a very good display at the front of the Magic 6 Pro you know Honor has always been giving us great displays alright so one more thing before I forget Honor also mentioned earlier on at the launch I just remembered that they actually use a more durable and tougher display for the screen so let's actually do a very quick drop test now I really hope it doesn't crack because I'm going to be using this phone throughout so let's just do one for fun Oh, okay. Ha! Huh. Obviously, it still looks fine. Here's a close up. Now, since this guy is still alive, let's do one more. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, still looks alright. I do have a small dent at the top left corner. But since we're already doing this, why not do one more? Alright, so let's just do one more. I hope Honor doesn't, you know. okay yep you guys are seeing this first the drop test of the honor magic 6 pro obviously it's not going to go down there yeah we just have to make do with this for now just this all right um other than that in terms of the processor itself it has been bumped up to the snapdragon 8 gen 3 as expected and in terms of the ram my device here comes with 12 gigabytes of ram as well as 512 gigabytes of internal memory now the final specification will depend on your region as well as honor malaysia for our own market all right, last but not least is the fact that we have a super large battery on board. So this time round, it's come with a 5,600 mAh unit. You don't really see that kind of numbers in flagships these days. I wouldn't say it's a very thin phone. It's, uh, I can't recall the exact thickness of the predecessor, but it still feels a bit thick to me. But it's good to see that we have a larger battery in here because after using it for those couple of days, I did notice that the battery life was actually quite long. You also have that fast wired and wireless charging, which is faster than its predecessor. So again, good stuff there. Now, before we go, another really cool thing that wasn't really mentioned at the launch 
was actually the software. Now this is running on Honor's Magic 8.0 and one of my favorite tricks is actually the fact that you are actually able to like share stuff across two apps by just swiping your finger over to the left or right of your screen. So how this works is for instance, if you have a photo in your phone that you just want to share with a certain application, you know, say for example, Instagram, your WhatsApp or anything like that, just hold onto the picture, swipe towards the right and it will show you a list of applications where you can actually drop it right away. So very, very cool stuff there. There's actually quite a fair bit more stuff with Honor Magic 8.0 that has been improved and I'm lacking a lot of stuff that I'm seeing here. I will share that in the full review. But anyways, this is what you can actually expect as a first impressions from the Honor Magic 6 Pro. Again, like I said, I will be testing this out even more extensively. Hopefully there's a software update that you know fixes a couple of bugs currently with my own phone itself as well. All right, so thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end. Again, I uh, appreciate y'all here. Barcelona's weather has been a bit gloomy. Hopefully the audio hasn't been too bad. Thank you for your support and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.